here jumping into game we've got ocean or core flip on the blue side and august 12th on the red do you think these hovers mean anything I think the Juliet band means something. I think that's, <laughs> totally. I think that's clear as day here. And I'll, I'll be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see the Rasmus Goalie. It has been something that, albeit a little bit more of a skill season pickup, is definitely one that has existed, especially in the past year. Liari, albeit a friend of Juno and many, opting for more of that forward Asher, or Asher potential. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With the, especially with the ban of Juliet coming out now the forward pressure then comes from the asher or a potential x pick but we aren't seeing x showing up here at all instead we are seeing a strong close to mirror instead we've got mega playing on the rasmus for the goalie and then we've got merchant on the vice uh be interesting to see kind of how the this two differentials whether or not it makes yeah. too much of a difference and as we now get into atlas's lab a very very wild map Notably, this time around, I do want to point out that we are going to be seeing the IME forward. So if you were watching last time around where we had that mirror matchup in terms of those two strikers, it's definitely going to be a lot more aggressive, playing off of the major damage oh! potential. Oh, wow. With Oshino core flip taking immediate advantage, just absolutely shoving the core through two barriers and a goalie to get their first point very, very early on. Well, right off the bat there, you can see how, of course, when it comes to the Asher, the core can be delivered. Still waiting on Liari to maybe do the same here. Notably, it was the mistake of not finding that special early, but this time around, didn't even need it. Leave it up to the Firewall Sentry. And once again, we've seen it just as fast as the first point happened, the, the speed of the second point happened. Asher is so dangerous with those as she can just shove the core in your face. And no matter how hard you try, she's put up a wall and there's nothing else you can do. No. Now, obviously, we are seeing some slight size differentials with those sentries. And ooh, August 12th oh! will take the brunt of damage in the process. Mary Meg stepping up at the pass splitter this time around. Not quite landing. Still, though, six seconds, five on the board here. So we get Asher back into it. And it's a perfect pass play from Kashi to find goal. And that was just some that was just some good clean Omega Strikers being playing off of each other, passing it back and forth. Mystic being very low in them in that exchange, kind of finding a hard point and being able to get in there, not quite able to get through as Oshinor Core Flip are putting themselves on a set point. And and this in this point they seem to be doing a pretty good job. This time around here, see if they get set up with good gold bears. I like the fact that they keep the pressure line forward, but there was Ooh. never really a way for Liari to get out of that situation. Megaverse is doing a great job keeping core out here and delaying Mystic to do the same. Black hole with the bounce pass back, and it is just barely. That death touch that finds Barry in return. Merchant with good core flips to stop the process on the opposite angle. That core flip coming in very huge here now, but we do have Merchant all, uh, special coming out. We do have the core flip for Miriam Mag available, but they are looking dangerously low, so it is going to be a little scary as, oh, running into the center, Liari is going to be taking out Mystic. That team KO is not really what you want to see. Miriam Mag putting them in a very good position here, delaying, but the double KO. Mega running up, getting aggressive, and it seems to be buying enough time. Hey, if you've got to make it happen, <laughs> deliver where it counts. Megaverse keeping this game going just as a single individual forward here. Now Liari and Mystic back into it, looking for pass plays. It's a pop back with that glitch pop that sets this one up for that firewall sentry to find barrier down here. Pop up, pass it, <laughs> Liari hits it in. That glitch pop to send the core up to Liari was just a beautiful play that we absolutely love to see here from August 12th to put themselves into a very good spot here. Now, next point is going to make a lot of effort on the carousel here. Yeah, absolutely. Right off the bat, it is barrier for barrier, but arguably this could be making it easier. Liari just barely missing out, but Mira already set up poised and in position not just for berries but for ko's as well we see to seem this one's time and time again a beautiful death touch but it's a perfect rush forward from kashi to secure set one and even i mean i don't even know what else to say that was just good clean play megaverse doing everything that he could to try and keep it alive but if you're down a player that pressure is going to come on hard and fast 
and there is nothing that you can do to be able to defend. Now, something of interest in this carousel, Fire Up being the in the unlimited as well as Egoist being out in this. Yeah, definitely has been one of the more dominant pickups here. <laughs> oh my Things god. Like that hot shot, heavy impact, everything are all but away. And to be honest, I feel like it feeds into itself here. Given the fact that you're going to have additional energy, you don't want to be left behind, right? So I guess everyone is fired up as we make our way into set two. And the extra energy is going to be absolutely huge. Plus, with the speed that the energy gives you, uh, it's going to only make for a more and more explosive game as we've got Oshino Corflip immediately on the offensive. They're going to be dropping the first barrier here. And August 12th looking for a response, not quite able to find it as Mystic will be eliminated. Taken out here now in the position, hopefully to find one as well. I like the trifecta though in terms of defense and Megaverse has no choice but to send that one back. Finally, it is another additional KO here from that glitch pop. Mystic still looking, albeit just really buying time. A cool oh! flip and bounce back in Meg, slamming it in. The coordination there, even though Megaverse had an incredible save there, Meg was ready on that follow-up to just push that core right through and following through in the exact way that you would want to see happen from your teammate. Immediate core flip happening here. Now, a little bit of some extra action from the speed of our core does find both of these in response to the barriers. Beautiful blocking play from Megaverse there to make sure that he keeps this one up and alive, but that supernova just as dangerous. Still, though, really waiting for at least August 12th to maybe get into that driver's seat. Core flip for core flip, Megaverse to block out, but still, there we go. That's the opening they've needed. And now it's going to be looking very close, but the pressure is going to be coming back as Miramag is going to be looking to turn it around. But Kashikoma is there, following up the barrier, still holding on as Liari is going to be looking for the possible play opportunity. Corfa comes out up into the corner, and that will give August 12th a point. Now, I respect Merchant and Kashi there. They understood what could be dangerous about that situation, especially with Core Flip available. And albeit they tried their best to dissuade with Stagger and find that KO. Liari stemmed that one out, played for the long term. Absolutely, and now we're seeing a lot of pressure here again on this first point in the favor of Oshino Corflip. Megaverse looking to relieve some of that pressure. He's going to be playing up now as Mystic is going to be forced back with the low stagger. That's going to be both barriers. This could be an opportunity for August 12th. Liari pushes it through, but it will be cleared out. Mm. And with Megaverse stepping up there to maybe get to catch back on that core, he actually trades a quite a hefty loss in terms of the entirety of those barriers. Once again, Liari looking for a push through play just to sustain, but they are losing members. They are hemorrhaging oh, no. and they're missing goals. And unfortunately, a core flip comes out to secure that one. Core flip plus the elimination, not allowing Mystic in that play, as that is going to give Oshino core flip a beautiful point here. It's looking like they're going to be kind of swapping some things out. Maybe Megaverse playing a little bit more aggressive. Oh, looks like I was wrong on that one. Yeah, no, not really sustained in any way here. Liari taking that damage is something that forces it. And the core flips are utilized, though, to find good barriers. So starting to rotate that energy potential out just to get them back into it, especially while they have those minor advantages. But it is charging up. Merchant with one core flip available. And Liari with a beautiful flip down into the corner. Merchant not quite able to block it out as August 12th will get their second point. We are now in another five-point set. Keeping it close as nails here. Merchant to set this one up early with that Supernova securing one. A good pass play from Kashi. Reminder, still having that core flip available, but some misplays from Merchant set that one up for both barriers. Reminder, though, still on this goalie, having that flip available is so impactful here, especially when you don't have to directly use it. Finally, coming out there. Oh, and Liari, beautiful shot into the corner. Sneaks it by both Merchant and Kashikoma. That was a beautiful core flip, biding their time to then put it down into the corner. And we are going to be tying this series up. Now, for August 12th, for our mirror matchup on our Ford Ashers, it is going to be first pick for them here. Built different catalyst if you want to keep that energy going and... Well, there you go. Both picked up right off of the bat there. Curious what we'll see out of the IME, especially with, uh, I was about to say, Dead Eye Missile Proportion. Uh, guaranteed. 
I'm surprised that Merchant wouldn't go for the Missile Propulsion as that would allow them to be a lot more influential from the back end. I like the pick for it from Mystic, though, as he has been getting bullied in this game. And for him to be able to have those longer range glitch pops will hopefully be able to allow him to be a lot more influential without having to risk getting killed. Now, Nobly, Liari now with some of that extra forward pressure here. Ari starting to set this one up. I love the death touch pass play there, and it is into the face of a great KO. Now, August 12th, up in the 2-3 for the players. All they have to do is, well, I guess, walk it right past an elusive Kashi. And that's where elusive is great but terrible all at the same time because if you get a get a little nervous unfortunately that can be what is going to seal your fate megaverse now already having a core flip available liari is going to be trading one as well uses it to be a little bit more defensive as a barrier goes down on both sides like that, an orb stolen away into the elusive there sets that one up for the path splitter and this guarantees the barrier but it will come at the cost of Liari in herself here. And we've seen this time and time again. You have noticed how Oshi can take advantage of these situations. They need to delay, and it is the black hole that optimally provides this. But Mystic pays just as much in the meanwhile. And Merchant actually get, was looking for an opportunity to move up. Megaverse now the only one with the core flip. Goes for the death touch. Passing play not quite able to see anything. Mystic is getting bounced around here, but they do stay alive as... August 12th is going to be winning out oh. that core flip, but it will be stuffed. And Oshino core flip put that one in. Hey, I, I respect Megaverse for trying there, knowing you have that subtle advantage with that core flip available to stem that one out. But Mystic never really could quite get back healed up. And in terms of presence on that back line, that's just not your goalie. No, definitely, for sure. Liari now using the core flip to clear it away from that turret and will actually possibly, yeah, Wiz able to secure two barriers. Mystic and a core flip up into the corner, and we're seeing a very explosive point here. The core is absolutely everywhere. Megaverse getting very close to getting the core flip of their own. Beautiful firewall sentry there. Will be bested, though, by a core flip on the opposite end. Megaverse just as quick, though, to keep this one without any barriers dropped here. So much energy expended. It will come at the cost of, once again, KO's been finally what they need. A sentry with the stop, and I cannot believe that one did wow. not fall there. I don't know how that barrier didn't go down. Megaverse is just being an incredible wall here. A beautiful glitch pop from Mystic here, but it is going to be looking a little scary for him. The turret will be dropped. Nice death touch pass there. It's going to be sneaking right up into the corner. Merchant has the core flip. The only core flip on the map right now. Let's see if they're going to be looking to make a play with it. The barrier will finally go down. The supernova sends it into the corner, but it will not be seeing anything here. Mind you, Merchant, of course, like you said with that flip, always a defensive tool, and you need to see energy in response sometime soon. An elusive Liari doesn't bode well here. Now Meg having it up as well is such a danger. And a beautiful flip. And honestly, there, it's so hard when that core flip is right in your face to be able to figure out how to time it and keep yourself alive here. You essentially need to have some form of blocking ability, especially in those kinds of moments. Now, notably, it is going to be heavy damage taken by Oshi here, but they're fine with that. They want to make sure that they can expend the energy while they can. Merchant stepping forward there does try to get flips off, but it doesn't quite land it. Still, though, 2v2. It's a fantastic response from Kashi that does even things out while they wait. Now we'll see here as Mega is going to be having the pressure put on as Mira Mega is going to be back in here. That center area looking a little scary there. Liari with a beautiful response, keeping the pressure at least somewhat alleviated from their goalie there. Is there still a barrier up for Oshino Corflin? And that is a beautiful flip from Megaverse, but the one from Meg is going to be the one to seal the deal down in the corner. And here's the thing, for Oshino Core Flip, especially coming into this match, especially as there's only one set that separates them from semifinals, they've done a great job of volleying the pressure here. What is effective by just one alone, say Miramek, right, is not enough for you mm -hmm. to tussle with. 
you come through on the opposite side merchant with the expenditure dashing onto the other end of the field and then back to the goal i mean it's always too much to deal with mm -hmm. absolutely and no matter how good of a goalie you are that just when it's up in your face there's nothing more you can do now onto this carousel we've got prime time we've got big fish aerials is not going to be taken which kind of surprises me but at the same time that rapid fire is going to allow for that primary to be more available for megaverse now, for me, it's the big fish in the bulk up here for August 12th year. We've seen them have lots of problems with the KO prowess in terms of just getting stagger up. That could be super beneficial for just giving them the raw time that they need. But look at the core flip. Look at the energy. Look at how much you can simply expend here by just stepping forward. It requires all three members of August to step into play just to mm. defend. Now, one thing that I have definitely been noticing as we like separate some of the good players from the great ones is the ability to keep that core flip up and have it be usable. If you pay attention to like a solo queue game from those more middle elos versus the higher elos, the core flip happens so much more. And you can see how that becomes useful as Megaverse passes it over to Liari with the core flip to put it in. Now, see, this is the one weakness I will bring up for Oshino Core Flip. They do invest super heavily into these breakout intros to most of their sets here, but you could start to see how the punishing level of their stagger is something that is beginning to bite back. You have to worry about the numbers disadvantage, even if you're almost all completely Omega. And Liari has no fear, though. They're jumping right into the face of Oshino Core Flip, and more Core Flips coming out. It, they're able to just run in, shove the core right into a barrier, and put August 12th in a beautiful position to start their point. Still, though, even on the board here, Liari with that final core with the trade on the Merchant actually successfully sustains this one off of the bounce back here. Nice pass up for the Death Touch into once more, but a Shockwave and all the kinds of abilities you could imagine set this one to stop. Notably, it's that Thunder Strike that really delays and Megaverse playing very beautifully here. The whole team as August 12th does have a one final core flip comboed with the Sentry Turret. Damn. There's not much more you can do to defend on that one. That's about the quickest volley I've ever seen. Literally ping-ponging back and forth there in the blink of an eye. Even though Merchant pays the price, goes out off of that KO, credit where it's due. That was immaculate. That was very very beautiful from august 12th they're playing a very dominant here looking to bring this into a set oh, five no. but that is going to be two barriers going down in favor of oshino core flip more just aggression oh and a beautiful stuff from mystic try as they might here the pressure isn't quite sticking the same way still though meg with a good flip potential oh, is blocked out by mystic even without utilizing the energy in store and you had it you had it oh man that was that was a crazy point that just the crazy saves but the lack of core flip being used i think is what gave oshino core flip that goal there i feel like you have to be respectful of the goalie to a certain degree here w due to the pressure from oceano you, you see so much of august group up to get into these defenses and that can be a little bit more difficult oh! at times for now though double ko's 1v3 you have to send this one in you have to send us to set five and now we are finally able to see a set five come out here as August 12th put that one in. And one of the things that is makes a third point so scary is you have no thought of, hey, maybe I want to save my core flip for a possible next point. It's, hey, if I don't make this shot, well, if, if I don't core flip, then I have a higher chance of keeping this point alive. Whereas if I can just shove it in there, that brings us to the next set when the energy is reset anyways. Monumental is still up here. Make sure you take that one, especially for the benefit of August 12th. I want to make mention of that twin drive. It's something that you do see passed over, usually to most of these goalies, to give them that extra oomph in terms of their delay. Mag, though, not really getting the best in terms of the last carousel here. This thing's finally even up. And now we're seeing pressure being put onto Oshino Core Flip right away. As both barriers are going to be going down. Liari is in a dangerous position to... If you are Oshino Core Flip, and we 
Beautiful defense here. Liari gonna be looking to get that core flip, possibly putting it in, and he will. I'll tell you what, for Liari there, I mean, excellent in the delivery, but it really comes back to the opposite end. I think Megaverse, delaying, good death touch, playing back for the pass four there, could have gone so much worse for wear had that not come through. Now remember, lots of energy sustained here, so much utilized. Liari going to be missing out on that one, and all these pass plays will secure at least these singular barriers on both sides as we see Kashi miss another as well. I mean, it's moving too fast for them to keep up with. And seriously, they are making this core go so, so fast. That is just, I mean, I don't even know how to, how to word what has been happening right now. It's so hard to follow, and just the core moves so fast. I'll tell you what, earlier into this match, we had our worries about August 12th here, but especially as they've had some great carousels and most notably, they've caught up in terms of Omega level. You can clearly see how dangerous they have become here. It's up to Oshido Korflik, three goals in a row. Can they reverse sweep? This is gonna be a, this is the opportunity to do it. Megaverse looking for the core flip. He's gonna be able to get it out. Mystic has theirs available as well. And this is going, so much pressure though, as both barriers go down on August 12th side, Liari in a dangerous position, but she will be able to possibly get it in. Not quite the death touch oh! though. Just barely missing the death touch there. That's gonna bite. I mean, it always feels bad when it comes down to a single ability delaying there. But I mean, Think about the pressure they put down on Liari. So much stagger missing. You never really even had three players to begin with. Yeah, absolutely. And now there's so many core flips available on the side of Oshi no core flip. They have an, an opportunity here. They are able to get both barriers. Mystic trying to push this one out. There's They're so grouped up. <laughs> this is so crazy to see normally i see teams so spread out but in this game they are just so oh my gosh and that's the problem especially once those barriers come down the threat of the forward asher especially directly in the face of the goal is almost inevitable in terms of picking this one up here the final goal to settle it all here right off the bat we're losing goal barriers upon goal barriers for august 12th and there are two core flips available, but unfortunately there's some miscommunication as that will be Meg right there capitalizing off of the misplay. And Oshi no core flip will bring this one back and deny August 12th from winning this one. Literally last second here in terms of setting themselves up a reverse sweep in the face of the fifth and final set here. And to be honest, I was ready to write this one home a little bit earlier on for Oshino Core Flip, especially as they led in terms of set standings. But mm -hmm. props where it is due August 12th were just as cool. But the sad truth is there's only one team that moves forward. Oh my goodness, Lee Ari. She has 11 goals. The only one to score for August 12th. So brutally aggressive this was one of like it was such an explosive game as the moment the core got onto one side or the other the players just basically dogpiled all over it and it it reminded it i don't even know how to describe how chaotic it was you just had no idea who was going to be the one to come out on top on those I will be honest here. I think the the true factor that really sends this one home is that Vice pickup as your mm -hmm. goalie here. Look at the damage differential. And I know Megaverse had an excellent playstyle on and through that Rasmus. But at the end of the day, so much of that pressure applied to Liari and Mystic Wall on top of Meg and Kashi was also because of Merchant being able to extend from that goal, constantly mm -hmm. put down the stagger where it counted, and, and, and put them in really dire situations where a lot of the time we either saw them playing as a duo or less, or without the stagger to really be stepping forward in more aggressive tempo. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And with the combination with Twin Drive going over to Merchant yep. oh, as yeah. well as the eject button, Merchant could be everywhere and it did not matter. They were there ready to assist in any capacity as well as they're able to just blip right back and be right in front of the goal. Well, 
With that being said, an excellent start here to our quarterfinals. What, congratulations once again to Oshino Core Flip. I wasn't setting them up in the best light, especially walking into the face of all of our teams that made it through to our final bracket. But at the end of the day, a win is a win, albeit we know what waits for you at the end. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And now it we're seeing the dominance from so many teams come out, and now the time is now to prove people wrong to show that trio abusers is beatable i'm still rooting for it i don't care i will be a diehard rooting for it not that i don't like trio abusers but i love to see a champion go down and so i want to see somebody be the one to do it here tonight I'll tell you what, you're going to be doing a lot of seeing here. That is all for Alex and I. When we come back, we'll be bringing you those semifinals as we introduce Dividing once again and the namesake himself, Vaudible.